Dr. Majorge, we talked about Christ consciousness and um, souls moving out of this existence. Do you think that the attaining Christ consciousness is the way out in a conscious way, of course? That is, as a matter of fact, so I teach that there's two, um, the two highest frequencies not in the game or on this plane, but in all time, all space. Um, one is the Christ consciousness, but some people spell it C-H-R-I-S-T. I spell it K-H-R-I-S-T. And it's more a crystalline consciousness that embodies everything you would also call a Christ consciousness. Um, that's the second highest frequency. The highest frequency is actually the Jedi frequency. Everybody's like, what's the Jedi frequency? I'm like, what do you think the Jedi frequency is? Have you watched Star Wars? Like, watch Star Wars. That's the Jedi frequency. The interesting thing about these two frequencies, though, and even if you want to study the life of Christ, there is a coming away from everything and everybody else. So when Christ tells the disciples to leave everything, leave your loved ones, leave your possessions, leave your home, I'm not saying you guys have to do that, but you might have to do that. Because as I, my frequencies gotten higher and as I've let go of the trauma out of my field and the fear, not saying I'm perfect, I have lots of stuff. Uh, we all do, you know, still fighting all my programming and all that stuff. But as my frequencies gotten higher, um, there is, and I have children and I love them and I spend time with them. So coming away isn't neglecting your family. I'm not saying that, you guys. I'm not saying get divorced. I'm not saying leave your kids. I'm not saying that. But there's a coming, and I know you do this, and I know you know this, there's a coming away where you need to be with yourself to connect with the all, to connect with your oversoul and all those other aspects of you. And wow, in modern society, when do we have time to be alone in nature and just sit there with no phone, nobody else? When do we have time as parents, as you know, working and, and trying to make ends meet and spouses and, you know, all these responsibilities we have. I mean, just owning a home. I don't know how it is there, but just owning a home, like keeping it clean and doing my laundry and washing the dishes and buying food. Like that's a massive time, you know? So you start to understand, don't you? Why Christ said, come away. And if you can't come away, I think it's making that time because when we run the technology and, and this will surprise you that technology says this, but it's going with what your oversoul, it's reading what your oversoul asks. The technology says, the oversoul says, I want at least 10 hours, 10 hours alone. And then it says, I want another 10 hours in nature. That's 20 hours. I don't have time to do that. And I have a more free life than a lot of people. So we start to see why that the monks who go up on the mountain, why they attain high frequency, why they attain spiritual enlightenment because it is challenging i mean the dishwasher can be a distraction if you own a pet and i have a lot of pets as you can see distractions you guys kids you have kids and i have adult children they're still distractions you know and definitely younger children your spouse is every friend you have and so the challenges but you know everybody's like what's the number one thing i can do to raise my frequency i'm like and they hate this answer because it's too easy. It's too simple. It, it's so simple. It's hard. Go put your phone down, walk outside your house and just sit down or, you know, go in the bathroom if you're a mom and just say 20 minutes, you know, just you have to go away and you have to connect because everything disconnects us from who we are and from the, you know, high frequency things. But it's amazing. It's amazing that these beings are walking around as traumatized as we are, as harassed as we are, as bombarded as we are, and we still can attain, you know, that frequency. And that's a beautiful thing. So there's, again, so much hope. And if one of us, and obviously I haven't done it either, if one of us could fully remember who we are, this game would immediately be 5D. There would be no wars. There would be no animal and child abuse. There would be none of this, but we don't. They're, they work over time. So we don't know how powerful we are and we don't know how we can alter reality.